Hi. Okay, so I'm getting ready to do the Transamerica Trail. Uh, I'm launching tomorrow morning, and I'm riding a Honda XR650L 2013. I've got other videos about the bike. Um, when I was originally researching and planning for my ride, I, by the way, we're doing the whole trail, going from West Virginia to Port Orford, so all my gear is for the entire trail. Um, anyway, I was researching, trying to research uh, uh, luggage systems and capacity and trying to get an idea of uh, like how much capacity I actually needed to carry the gear that I'm going to carry. I don't want to carry too much gear. I'm still in the process of weeding out gear, but uh, I know for a fact that the gear that I have on these tables that I'm going to show you will fit on this bike and then some. So just to give you an idea of what kind of capacity you need on a ride like this or on an ADV ride, I guess, in general. Uh, and what a system like this, I ha happen to have the Moscow Moto system. It's a reckless 80, I'm gonna show you that. But just to give you an idea of like what capacity you can have with a system like this, at least, on a bike like this, at least, and how much gear you can actually take, I'm gonna just do this short video and walk you through it, okay? So here's the first thing. Let's take a look at the bike. Um, I actually have right now about 162.5 liters of cargo capacity. Now, I really hope I don't ever use all that, but that's what the capacity is on this bike. You can probably stretch it a little bit more. You can certainly go with less because you don't need that much. Um, and also I have even more because I've got a 20 liter Krieger backpack I'm bringing. So I guess you could say it's a 180 plus. All right, so let's take a look. So this is, uh, this is my Wolfman Enduro 1.25 liter fender bag. I keep my spare tire, um, I'm sorry, my spare, spare tube in this. That's all I have is my back tube. This is my Wolfman Enduro carry-all, super handy. Uh, I keep my tools in here mostly and a towel and gloves, stuff like that. Um, I got these Kraga bags right here. You can take a look at those. Those are just so I can have something really handy nearby that's not my tank bag for my sunglasses or my prescription glasses and glass cleaner and stuff like that, knickknacks. Uh, the next bag I have is the Giant Loop. It's the tank bag. This is the Giant Loop 8 liter Fandango Pro Tank Bag. Works pretty well with my Acherby's 5.8 gallon tank on my Honda here. Uh, I like it. It's water resistant, even waterproof if you want to put, put the bladder in. It comes with this bladder. And I like the bladder because uh, at the end of the day, if I camp or if I go to a hotel, I can just pretty much pull everything out for the bladder and just take it away and leave it like this on the bike. Hopefully nobody will mess with it. Um, all right, so, oh, yeah, this is very important. The Wolfman uh, tank bags. Seven liters a piece, 14 liters total. I love these bags. They're not waterproof, none of the Wolfman's waterproof, but you can put a plastic, you know, Ziploc bag inside of it as a liner or even get a liner for it of some sorts or a dry bag. That's what I do, but these are lifesavers. I love having all this capacity right up front actually and kind of down right where it is and handy. So I love these. Um, and then there's my Moscow system. It's a Reckless 80. If you don't know, that's just kind of a pun on Rackless. Um, it means that you don't have to have a rack with these with these systems. I kind of like that because I want to do more ADV riding. I don't even want to go overseas, so I like the idea of just taking this system and moving it and putting it onto another bike and not needing a rack. Plus, I just like the system. Uh, you can look the system up. I'm not going to try to tell you about it. You can just go to their website and check it out or watch videos uh, on YouTube that already exists. But I'll just tell you about my system. Um, so here's what it comes with, like stock. You have uh, this. 22 liter Stinger, it's a duffel bag right here. It's actually got straps, so if you ever got stranded and uh, like backpack straps, you got stranded, you can uh, maybe take some essential gear with you and pack out. Um, it has a nice beaver tail, which I really like. It's got some sort of capacity for a few things in the beaver tail too. But basically the, the duffel bag goes here. Uh, I do have a rack on my bike just because I wanted to push this whole system as far back as I could. Um, I have a little divot in my seat where my butt goes. It's a 
This is a custom seat, a Fisher seat. I sit right about here. So I wanted a little bit of real estate right here to put another bag if I needed to. Um, so it's sort of a little bit far back on the, on the bike, which is fine, works fine. Um, so there's the, this 22 liter bag as the duffel bag. These two bags right here uh, go on the sides. I forgot what their capacity is, you can look them up, but they're pretty capacious. Uh, I put all of my clothes and then some in one side and all my camping gear and kitchen gear and then some in the other side. So they go right here, fit in this holster right here, basically. And you can like pretty much max them out all the way to the top and then roll them up. Or you can roll them down if you don't have that much gear, it's pretty flexible. And I have a little see-through so you can see what's in there. Anyway. Um, it also comes standard with this dry bag, which is pretty handy. I'll show you about that in a minute. 20, 20 liter dry bag. And it comes with a tent pole bag. Uh, tent pole bag's pretty cool. I, I do have my tent poles in here, but I also have a extra large rectangular, long as you can get, because I'm tall, um, Thermarest Neo Air Trekker. And I've actually wrapped that up around the tent poles and I carry it in here. So that's a nice real estate saver. Um, okay, so that's the system. I did add to it. And what doesn't come with it are these four liter little side bags right here. These are kind of multi-purpose bags. You can put uh, two one liter gas cans in them. You can put a water bladder in there. I happen to put my shoes in one and, and other stuff in the other. Pretty handy, uh, so that's an extra eight liters of capacity right there. And then I bought some extra bags. Um, I already showed you the Krieger backpack that I'm gonna wear, it's got my water bladder in it. But the extra bags are, I got another uh, tent bag, only because it's how am I gonna carry my fly rod, my fly fish, so I'm gonna be fly fishing along the way. So that, that worked out. Um, and there, I have a 10 liter. Musco Moto bag, uh, I bought additionally, and another 20 liter Musco Moto bag, I bought additionally. Basically what I'm gonna do is fold this down and put it underneath the duffel, and I'll have it. I'm not gonna use it, I'm not gonna take that much gear, but if I need it for any reason, I'll have it, and I can just expand my system by 20, 20 liters. Uh, this I might leave behind, I might take, I'm not sure, I'm gonna pack the bike tonight, and I'll find out right here. Hopefully I don't need it because like I say, I'm in the process of just eliminating stuff. All right, so let me show you though, once again, everything I have here on the table, all of that will fit on this bike and more uh, without all the bags. So just to give you an idea. Um, okay, come on over here. I guess we'll just start with the riding gear. Although I'm not gonna be carrying my riding gear. Um, take a look at, I think I'm gonna leave this behind. I mean, it's freaking summer. I don't think I need that much warm weather gear. I'm not totally sure, but I can always have it sent to me. Uh, it's just a regular climb jacket. I'm bringing this. It's a uh, first gear. It's uh, a fleece. And that'll probably be, you know, like the most jacket I have. Uh, this I'm gonna leave behind, I'm pretty sure. This is pretty effective uh, cold weather gear. Uh, I'm gonna probably send for it when I hit the Rockies. Maybe, we'll see, I'll just check the weather. But this is Under Armour Base Layer 3.0. It does take up a little bit of real estate, so that's why I'm thinking I'm probably gonna leave it behind. This is my icebreaker. I've got short sleeve, this is a long sleeve. I'm probably gonna leave this behind. So this stuff is probably not gonna go right here. Uh, obviously I'll be wearing that. This'll go. Um, let's just set this aside. Move to this other table, this is my clothes. I'm taking one pair of pants and I'm taking otherwise a change of clothes for three days, three pairs of underwear, socks. Uh, I got my icebreaker, merino wool, short sleeves, uh, and one regular shirt, three shirts. I am taking uh, one pair of uh, base layer first gear. I think they call it, uh, I forget, 31.5 or something like that. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna take one pair because I found that's handy if I sleep outside of my bag and it gets a little cold. Uh, this is one long sleeve shirt. Again, I fly fish, I wanna get some sun protection, so I have one long sleeve shirt. Moto skivvies, little hat, and that's it for the clothes. Um, if you come over here, this is my 
I've tried this, I'm trying this out. <laughs> it might be too hot, um, but I wanted to get some protection, more protection, and I didn't want to wear knee guards. Um, so uh, I, I bought these, I'm trying out these um, Force Field uh, Pro pants and Force Field Pro armor shirt. Supposed to have uh, kind of hot weather, wicking material, blah, 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 untested. So just in case, I'm gonna wear that as much as I can under my gear because it's like, um, what is it? Uh, it's top CE certified protection and it's expensive stuff. Um, but just in case it gets too bloody hot, I'm gonna stuff it into my 20 liter tracker bag and then this net will kind of save my butt there because I'll just put this over the top of anything that I'm carrying in my system behind me over the top of my duffel bag. And I've done that before, it works just fine. Um, so this is uh, knickknacks. These are a couple of first aid items. This is a Sam splint. This is um, an H bandage. Um, all of my little individual knickknacks are in this little outdoor research bag, super handy little bag. Uh, I've got my alarm. I think I'm gonna take my Abus alarm first aid kit and some survival gear. I'm riding the Trans-America Tour, I'm riding Sam's trail and he, he recommends bringing an umbrella for the desert. So I would normally do that, but I'm gonna follow his advice because he knows, I'm guessing, he knows. And so I'm bringing this little umbrella for the desert. I've got uh, two three liter water bags here. Might bring another water bag or two. I'll have one three liter on my back. So I'll have close to 10 liters of water capacity. Hopefully that's enough. This is all my camp gear. Uh, I got my tent and my footprint and uh, my fly and my tent itself and uh, okay I'm just gonna go ahead and admit it this is my pillow <laughs> I uh, have trouble with pillows uh, cuts down on headaches or no headaches if I just bring my own pillow so I'm gonna use up the real estate and bring like a full-size pillow right there although it's memory foam uh, toe strap that's it on this table if you come around to this other side here Come on over here, this side. Um, okay, so I've got my shoes. Uh, I have my 100% goggles. I've got my gloves. Um, I've got a neck protector I'm gonna try. Um, I've got, uh, I actually have some fly fishing gear. Not everybody's gonna have fishing gear, but I have a little bit of it. And I don't even have my flies out here yet, but I've got a reel and some um, tippet material and, and so forth. Battery backup. I'm probably going to lose this. I think it's too much weight. Uh, I've got, uh, I can charge stuff on my bike and I can charge here and there when I can. But I am taking my laptop and this will fully charge my laptop. So we'll see. I have to take my laptop. I got to work um, along the way. Um, okay, back over here. I've got food. I've got uh, freeze dried food. Um, I kind of like better food. I don't like crappy food. So I'm going to bring this in case I even you know, get in some area where the food's crappy, I can just make my own food. Uh, my vitamins, some bars, some, some snacks that I'm taking for the initially. And this is uh, just, some, just some electrolytes and stuff like that, some magnesium. Toiletries, I know it's a lot, but that's what I have. Um, okay, here are my tools. My tools and my, uh, my, um, uh, Tire repair kit are all in here. Um, this is uh, tri flow I'm bringing so I can hit the parts, clevis parts of my bike every few days uh, with some penetrating lubricant. A little towel. Uh, this is my rain gear. Uh, a little bit of protection from dogs and so forth. A uh, little kim Kimber um, pepper spray gun. Um, let's see, knife, uh, laptop. This is my kitchen gear, camp gear, kitchen gear, food gear. Uh, I'm going with other guys, so I don't have a, I have a stove, but I don't have like, we're all sharing the gear. So not all the gear is here. I've got, we've got three riders in our group. So I would be taking a little bit more if I were going on my own. Here's my uh, water purifier in case I need that. A uh, little fry pan, little fire starter. Uh, spare tube. Front tube, uh, two pre-oiled uh, air filters, and I've got four oil filters. Um, these are just some empty bags right now and some straps. Uh, that doesn't belong here. <laughs> <laughs> the video camera we were using earlier ran out of batteries. 
That's, uh, I'm probably gonna bring that camera, a little Fuji camera, although I, I shoot everything pretty much with my iPhone. I do have a, a GoPro, and uh, by the way, I love this little thing here, man. I've just did a three week ride over in Italy, and I love this thing. You just basically put it right up here, and it sits right here on my helmet. Very handy. I like the, I like the shoot angle from here. This isn't totally straight, but you get the idea. This little Sessions 5 GoPro. Eh, probably not the best thing you can get out there, but it works. Um, and it's really simple and it's waterproof. So that's my uh, GoPro. Only taking, whoops, only taking one camera. Um, eh, it's just this little pack safe. Uh, so if I want to leave my jacket on the bike or whatever, it's a little, little deterrent. Um, flashlight. Uh, thought about this. Uh, wife definitely wants me to take it, so I have a little personal locator beacon, PLB. Uh, yeah, this is maybe essential. Maybe it could be left behind. It's a little uh, Bose Bluetooth uh, speaker, you know, because, uh, you know, the iPhone speaker isn't quite loud enough. Um, earplugs. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. You can see the gear. So this is, this is everything I'm taking. You know, looking at it now, it doesn't seem like that much. I don't know why, but uh, um, this is plenty. I figure this is probably 125, 130 liters, I'm guessing. I don't totally know, and I haven't weighed it yet. But, uh, you know, I have 160, I think I, had, I told you a little over 160 liter capacity. So I hope that gives you a pretty good idea of what you can get out of a system like this, at least, on a bike like this. Again, you don't want to haul anything more than you need, and I'm certainly trying for that. But um, but this is this is my setup. Okay, thanks.